my name is Mayur Kamath and I'm the product manager on the Reliance file system working at DataLite. Today I'm going to show you a demonstration of Reliance that is working on the Windows desktop. This is not a simulation. This is a real version of Reliance that has been ported to the Windows operating system and a set of intensive file system tests that will simulate the working of a device. Let's take a look at the screen. This is the application that can be launched from the start button and the programs menu on your Windows machine. We have a start button that will start the demonstration, documentation button for a detailed help file, support button will send an email to the data light support team, a disk state button that will allow you to observe the disk state at any point in the demonstration, a reset button that will reset the demonstration back to its original state, a power cycle button that will simulate power failure, a save status button that will allow you to save status of different runs so that you can compare them later on, and an exit button to exit the demonstration. So let's start the demo. The first demo that I'm going to show you is how Reliance enables 100% reliability on a device. So let me click start. You can see in the demo status window what exact file system operations are happening. At any point, I can stop the demonstration and view the So let me resume the demonstration and show you how Reliance enables 100% reliability in case of a power failure. And to do that, I'll click the power cycle button. This will kill the thread that was running the file system test and to simulate a real world working of a power cycle or a power failure. Now let's see the disk state of this file system. The biggest USP of Reliance, the biggest value that Reliance brings is that it maintains two states of the disk. One we call as the working state and one we call as the last known good state or the committed state. The biggest differentiator in Reliance is that it never overwrites live data. It always maintains a good state and for the working state it always uses free blocks. It does not modify the committed state. Hence, no matter when you lose power, you always have a state of the disk that is in a good state. Unlike a FAT-based file system which overrides live data, in case of power failure, you end up in a state of disk which is corrupted. As you can see in this case, there is a significant difference in the working state and the last known good state. If you scroll down below, you will see the difference. In the good state, there were 57 use blocks, whereas in the working state, there were only 56. If you were using an unreliable file system like FAT, you would end up in a corrupted state of disk. But with Reliance, since you always have a known good state of the disk, no matter when power loss happens, you will always end up in a reliable state of disk. And because of this, Reliance enables 100% reliability against data corruption due to power loss. Let me reset the demo. And I want to show you the biggest secret sauce in Reliance, which we call as the dynamic transaction point technology. Reliance not only is a transactional file system, it also enables a dynamic mode where you can change how transaction points occur in your system. So let's see how this works. Let me restart the demonstration. And you can see by default, the transaction mode is set to automatic. Automatic transaction mode runs transaction points at predefined file operations like file close or disk full. I can change this mode to writes and you can see in this case transaction points were executed on every write operation. This does increase the reliability of the system so that the amount of data loss you incur is much lower but it also has a performance impact as you can see that by the number of transactions that are occurring in the system. What Reliance allows you to do with dynamic transaction point technology is change this transaction mode while the device is running. So from now I change from the writes mode to a transaction mode where transactions are executed every one second. Reliance also offers an application control mode wherein the application can tell the file system when to conduct the transaction point which I can simulate here 
by clicking on the transact now button as you can see reliance is the only file system that allows you to switch these transaction modes while the device was running this allows you to configure the file system to your specific use case scenarios unlike file systems like fat based file system or journaling based file system which have a very dictatorial nature of file system operation reliance allows you to configure the file system to your specific use scenarios leading to 100% reliability and very high performance again i can simulate power cycle in this case and obviously as you can see because there was a lot of file system activity the disk state is much more different in the working state and the last known good state but again no matter what dynamic transaction point mode you use there will always be a last known good state of the disk leading to 100% reliability what dynamic transaction point allows you to configure is the amount of data loss that can happen or that you are willing to let happen in your device and configure the performance of your device to ensure that the data loss is kept to minimum your disk is always in a known good state at the same time you're getting fast performance leading to better user responsiveness again clicking on the documentation button will launch a pdf file that will give you in detail workings of the demonstration and you can scroll through see the entire state of uh, the content it's a much comprehensive documentation i would strongly urge you to look in this starting the demonstration the email support button as i said will send an email to data light in case you have any technical questions on the workings of the demonstration so that's all i have from my end if you have any questions you are most free to uh, contact me at mayur.kamat@datalight.com thank you